So I've got this kayak, and it's a great little ship. Uh, but to improve control, I need to add a rudder kit. Now here's the thing. Between when I bought the kayak and when I bought the rudder kit, the design was sold to a new company. Uh, the boat itself was made by Liquid Logic. The design is now owned by Native, who makes the rudder. Now it gets even more fun, and I'll show you. So Liquid has a certain screw spacing on the transom of their kayak. Native uses a slightly different spacing for their rudder mount. So what I'm going to do is make a facing plate. It's going to cover the entire transom with holes drilled not only for the kayak, but a middle hole for the rudder mount. Now that middle hole is going to be backed from the inside and uh, hopefully that will span the gap and provide enough strength for a nice solid rudder mounting. As a wise man once said, read, understand, and follow the safety instructions before using any power tools and also wear these safety glasses. Sorry about the lack of narration on that last scene, but that grinder is pretty loud. Alright, so let's check the fit here. And that looks really good. I think we're going to be able to work with that. Alright, so next step is to drill a trio of holes and get the rest of the system mounted up. Alright, a quick center punch right here to locate one of the holes. There we go. And drill through it. I can do this without knocking the camera over. Double check that on the kayak because measure once, cut twice. Okay, we've got our three holes drilled in our backing plate. Just need to shape them up with a small file. Alright, there we go. Not bad. Our slightly modified rudder mount is fully installed and the rudder is on its mount. Now the rest of the install should go pretty quickly. The main body of the kayak design hasn't changed really, so I should be able to just 
follow the remainder of the instructions for that one.